Okay, in this video, we're going to look at this model, which is kind of known as the base of the head model. And you can see the brain is not in this model. What this is really highlighting or emphasizing are the meningeal layers and how some of these meningeal layers form extensions that kind of secure the brain in the cranial vault. If we take this first portion off, you can see the shiny tissue in here is the dura mater adhered to the inside of the cranium, the cranial vault here, and it serves as an endosteal layer. If we look at it here, where we've taken this out, you see these deep extensions of the dura mater. These are actually going to dive down in between the two cerebral hemispheres into this deep longitudinal fissure right between them that we showed in an earlier video. And that extension is called the Felx cerebri. It dives down in between there, almost at the level of the corpus callosum, and kind of secures the brain. You have another extension right here called the tentorium cerebelli. It forms kind of a tent over this cerebellum. So as this is sitting in there, again, we'll bring this model back in. And if you look here, you have the cerebrum, you have the cerebellum. That tentorium cerebelli would run right there. So it's kind of running deep into this invagination, and it secures the cerebellum, helps to secure the cerebrum. We'll go back to here. I also want to highlight that within these extensions, there are venous returns. Um, the carotid arteries, the vertebral arteries, form portions of the circle of Willis, which feeds the brain uh, with neutrified, oxygenated blood. And the vessels you see here represented in blue are the venous return of that blood from the brain. So here we have what's known as the superior sagittal sinus or dural sinus up here. Below that, the inferior sagittal sinus. And right here at about the junction of the falx cerebri and the tentorium cerebelli, you have the straight sinus. And then along the tentorium, you have the transverse sinus. When we look back in the cranial vault, you can see here's your transverse sinus again, and another extension of the dura mater, much shallower one here called the falx cerebelli. It serves the same purpose as the falx cerebri, but it's only going in between the two hemispheres of the cerebellum, and because of that large vermis that we showed in an earlier video, it's quite shallow. We'll come back in another video and show you the arteries that form the circle of willis.